Hey YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. Thanks for joining me on my channel with the housing crisis segment. I got a really sad story uh, I want to share with you guys. It was sent to me uh, from someone that lives in the Washington state. They're hoping that some of the stories of the housing crisis that's happening in Washington and in Oregon area and California area gets put out to the rest of the world so other people could see uh, what's happening. And this is a really sad story, so I, I want to just play the clip for you guys. Let me know what you guys think, okay? Life together. Right? Theirs has been a life filled with happiness. 20 years married, a loving family. That was right before the diagnosis. But two and a half years ago, David Hayes found out he has renal cell carcinoma, stage four. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm hurting. A diagnosis that changed everything. You know, we were making 75000 a year at one time, you know, and it's just like cancer enters your life and, and uh, everything goes kaput. David and his wife Julie moved to Everett from the Tri-Cities to be closer to the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. They found a modest apartment they could afford. Then came this letter. The building had new owners who were renovating and raising rents by $200 a month. With Julie caring for her husband full-time, that would be tough. Even worse, the landlord demanded a co-signer with a monthly income four times the rent, about $5,500. Wow. That would be impossible. The couple pondered the possibility of being out on the street. You know, I mean, it's made me sicker. The, uh, the anxiety, you know, sometimes, you know, it's like sometimes you get breaking down, you can't even breathe. So. Across the Homish County, 22,000 people are paying more than half of their income for housing. That's nearly 10%. In Everett alone, rents have jumped nearly 25% over the past three years, while wages have been stagnant. Is this a crisis? Absolutely. Mark Smith of the Housing Consortium of Everett and Snohomish County says more affordable housing needs to be built, but that takes money, possibly in the form of a small property tax increase. Without it, we'll see more people on the streets. Somebody with cancer who does all the right things and is going to lose their home there ought to be a place for them. We sure are lucky. Yeah, praise God. Fortunately for the Hayes family, they convinced the landlord to forego the co-signer, but the rent's still going up $200. They're not sure where that money will come from, but they have faith they'll find it as they try to refocus on fighting for David's life instead of a place to live. What do you guys think? I mean, it's sad. That it's getting to a point where somebody works their entire lives and then they get to a point where they get sick and then boom, it's all about the almighty dollar. And I keep telling everyone, I think the anti, I mean, I'm not going into the whole religious thing. I think the antichrist is money. Money gets to the root of everything. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I mean, there's no one has compassion for anybody anymore. Nobody, if I was the landlord, I'd say, you know what? I'm going to lower your rent by 200 bucks to help you guys see through this. I would. People that know me know I would do that. It's just, I don't know, guys. I just want to know what you guys think. Um, I got a lot of people telling me that uh, they're in the Everett, Tacoma areas and Seattle areas, that they have a lot of boarded up investment properties. Not boarded up, but just un, un, uh, vacant units. A lot of vacant condos, lots of vacant places uh, uh, sprouting up all over the whole western seaboard. Anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I like to hear your comments on this one. Thank you for watching, guys.